Shepard from the cross and will receive the kickoff. Singing our national anthem. Good evening for Madison Public Television and Daniel Hand High School Tiger Football. We're down to Thanksgiving Eve, the 10th game of the season against the Guilford Indians in Guilford. And uh, Guilford won the toss, coin toss before the game. They will take the ball first. Joey Robichaud has it teed up. And uh, Frank, uh, we're keyed for a good game here. Looks like it should be. It always seems to be. At least a lot of spirit involved with the rivalry on Thanksgiving with the Indians. Joey Robichaud hits a long one. Hit on a fly down about the five. Got a pretty good wedge right got there. Got a wedge right up the middle. Brought back to about the 25. That was a well-disciplined wedge down there that time. Now, it was a pretty good kick to set it up for it, but... Uh, much more discipline happening with the uh, Guilford Indians nowadays than we've seen in years past. We know that the hand team is 9-0 and at this point. Frank, what about Guilford? Guilford is, um, very interestingly, they've had a reasonably good year. And I believe it's 5-2-1? and 5-3-1. and 5-3-1, that's right. With only two common opponents, as you pointed out earlier. We'll talk about that as we go down the line here. Guilford with the ball first at the 25. Shotgun formation, running this way. For a loss. And stacked up. Student body gets credit for that whole tackle series right there, boy. Woo! I don't know who made that tackle, but there were a bunch of them. You could throw a dart at the uh, roster and you could pick anybody at that point, you know. Guy Tuchero was in on that, which is very interesting. He's normally playing um, offense, but he was on the crash team right then. Guilford's going to operate out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Looking to throw complete pass on the far side. Quarter, quarterback uh, Lundberg is, is very heavily touted as a, a very good passer, and he also is a good option man. And uh, you can see there he had a very good basics. As he About a six-yard game. Third and four at the 33. Robichard made that stop. And we got a third down and uh, a long three. Quarterback looking this way. He's no, moved. he's getting out of there. He's, under. he's being pursued. He's going to throw it away. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down and good pressure put on him by John Big Larry Joe Robichaud. Robichaud and uh, was right on the quarterback that time, and the quarterback had no chance to turn and square himself to throw. And so he did. He just threw it away, which was smart on his part. Mark Devlin, Fourth down team. for Guilford. Punt formation. Their punter is going to hit it between the 20 and the 25. Back to return is Mike, Mike Davis. Davis. 
back uh, closer to the yard line. Boy, it is foggy tonight, everybody. You probably can certainly see that. Although it is warm, and for Thanksgiving, we'll take the foggy and warm. It's a high kick, fairly short, over on the far sideline. Got Takes out of bounds. A, took a right turn and went out of bounds. And the kick is marked down at the... Good field position for the Tigers, Ken. Uh, 40, yeah, where are they going? 40, 42, 42, I think. Back, and, uh, back to uh, Guilford's record this year, the only common opponent that they've played were Amity and Sheehan. Guilford beat Sheehan big, but then almost everybody else did also this year. They lost to Amity. I'm trying to make a point. Guilford has had a tendency to try to get as many points as they can, which gives... That's Morello at quarterback and handoff stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that, that one didn't work. Uh, Davis, the carrier. the carrier. Crash Davis doing the tailbacking chore Davis. on that. Down at the 40. Uh, Looks like Patron and Dillon in on the stop. So very interesting. Both teams on their first play had a loss from scrimmage. Two-yard loss yeah, on that first down carry. Down and, uh, they break out of the house. July the center. Hand brings in a receiver package here. John Berlin to this side. Callahan to the far side. There's a flag. I bet that's time. Yeah, too much time. Five yards against hand. And we have a ball start. The bad game, sorry. You can see that seemed to take a long time to get the player set up and everything, Ken. Delay a game, takes him clear back to the 35. Second and long. Morello rolling to the left, looking to throw. Trying to get away from the man there, and he can't. Sacked in the backfield. Clear back about to 26, 27. Well, it sure looks like the, uh, the Indians are coming out to play. Hand seems a little sluggish right now, Kent. A little sluggish. Ball spotted at 27. It's third down about a quarter of a mile. We're early in this game. Hand's first possession, which so far has gone backwards. We got third down. Nick Murillo looking to throw, and now he's going to run it. Gets away from one, breaks one tackle, goes to the left side. Well, at least he get back to the initial line of scrimmage. He got, uh, what, 15 about, about yards 15, or so. Yeah. But well short of a first down. Well, fourth and 11. And, uh, they'll be kicking. Now that's going to give uh, the punter a little more capability of getting the ball down on the field, uh, field position situation here. Martin, the punter, good snap. Gets a high kick. Whoa, out of there. that got lost up in the clouds. And it's going to roll forward a nice little bounce. bit. Nice bounce. Whoa. This AstroTurf field, the ball the rolls ball. pretty well. And about the 21. And Franklin, this field is the, uh, the one of the first games that they've played on. It. It's a brand new AstroTurf field here, the new type of AstroTurf. Yeah, the very highest technology that's out there right now. And it did feel good when we were down there, didn't it, huh? Yeah. A lot different than the game. old days when it was uh, just a small no, rug on on uh, concrete. Two yard line. Guilford will start their second uh, possession here at about the 21. And there's That's a pitch. pitch for a sweep to the right side. And it's turn, yeah, turn it's back ball. in. And no game. They brought it back to the line of scrimmage. Turchio is the running back on that, and he's uh, had a lot of lots of um, experience through the years. We've seen him for well, obviously three years now, and he's always been a pretty good running back back there. Didn't get anything on that one, but nonetheless, we'll see what happens. Second and ten. And 
That one's run over the right side and maybe a yard or Quar so. Quarterback keeping on that. About a two-yard game. Right a third and eight. We got a third down and eight. Frank, this field uh, used to be a quagmire when oh. it would rain over here. Oh, we, we. mud bowls. We, we, so it's nice, nice to see a nice clean master turf down. field. Oh, it sure is. Through the years, we've had some brutal games here. Quarterback looking to throw. Coming across this way, incomplete. No Little out of reach of the receiver. Bring up fourth down. Again, some reasonable pressure on the quarterback. I think our guys are going to be able to start getting through and putting more pressure on them. When, once the down linemen start to really figure out in, on defense what's going on across from them, you'll start to see Lightning get in there and Roberti and... You know, P.M. Bino, all the guys. Oh, P.M. Bino's uh, back in, by the way. He was out last game because of that that bad um, arm. Mike Davis back to return. Low snap. And a pretty good-looking punt. Davis over on the far side, drops it, picks it up, and he's in trouble. <laughs> he got away from one or two, but he couldn't get away from <laughs> there was, there was three a lot and four of, and five. Yeah, a lot of coverage down there. A lot of green jerseys down. down there. And they place the ball down at the 34-yard line. So, so far, we've just had a change of field position on both sides. We've played almost half of this first quarter, and so far, it's a punting contest. Anybody made a first down yet? Can't remember. No, no, as a matter of fact, not. And, and was out three no, and one, basically. Back. Three and out. And had a penalty and a couple of sacks in that last possession, and he didn't get very far. That's Taylor. Pitches out to Taylor. To this side. He's yeah. going to have. After all that running, he's going to gain a yard or so. And a couple of yards. Well, you see, saw some pretty good movement on both sides again that time. A couple of yards, second down and eight. Defense for Guilford is pretty quick. Ball's at the uh, 36 yard line. Second down. Second and eight. Nick Morello at quarterback. McGinney Morello. is the fullback. Blocking ahead of that. Now it's a pitch. I think I saw a flag. Yeah, you sure did. A flag thrown in hands backfield. That's usually a holding position, but let's see. We have a flag on a play. He's putting it down on a spot, which is. Hold, yeah. Holding call. And that's that declined. Declined, how about that? Well, because now of. got a third down. Lost a couple yards on the play is why they declined it. Well, that's a very interesting call, though. I would have thought you would have wanted it 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Yeah, and the extra so down, but I guess they didn't want to. ten, and neither team has moved the ball at all yet. That's Dylan Taylor in the tailback position. Marillo hands off. Fake the handoff nope. to him, and now he's throwing no, to Roberti. Roberti. Roberti's got a first down. Clear down across the 45. Branded by Roberti. Look at that. Nice job. Good pass and catch. Nick Tight end, night. Brandon Roberti makes that catch and takes it forward for a good gain and a first down. That was Nick at night. He really got back there, saw who he wanted to go to, the tight end, coming across from the right to the left. We got a first down. And he's down. a big target, and he's got good hands on him. And we got Lang Grigger into the game as a slot receiver on the left side. Taylor is a slot receiver on the right. That's the quarterback keeper still going. Oh, my goodness. Some hard running up front. Give him about five. Yeah, almost yeah, five, five yards. Yard line. I thought maybe he fumbled that ball. I, I thought he had handed it off to McGinney. If he did, it bounced right back up to him. <laughs> Five-yard gain, I don't know, almost nothing. 
coach is getting quite a few players swapped in and out to keep things moving out there. We got Robichaud and Connie going to the far side. Taylor over on this side. Roberti's back in after a break. Taylor's on this side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Watch him go for the. No. no. And it's a keeper by Morello. Off the left side, not not quite the first down, he's but he's coming close. A yard or two short of a first down, maybe about two short. Makes the hit. So we got third down and about two yards to go. Ball at the 37 yard line. Okay, Burling goes in and Kevin Fodor. Third and a long two here between the uh, 37 and 38. Well, you do it somewhat conservative, perhaps, only because it is four down area down here, I would say. Uh, it's it's Taylor. Taylor, he's got it. Good, he's good run there yeah. by Taylor. Hard, Makes a spin and got a oh, first nice down spin. and quite a bit more. He had at least 10 on that, didn't he? Maybe uh, 12. We've got our statistician is up here, and he'll give us the number on that. What do you have on that, Mike? They put it down at the 23. 12? Oh, okay. 12-yard gain? 12-yard gain on that, yeah. I um, knew it was a little better than 10, but I couldn't quite get the number out myself. An expert statistician here for a big game tonight, Mike Sexton, came all the way up from Frederick, Maryland to help us out. Yeah, we import him for quite a ways just to do that kind of work. Here's yeah. a run on the left side by Taylor. Yeah. Breaks one tackle, takes it to the 20. Uh, stitching time, Taylor. There he goes. He's starting to get warmed up. Two-yard gain. We're down to three minutes left in this first quarter. And it's been a punting contest up to this possession, but Hand has moved it down the field pretty well here so far. Morello underneath the center. Takes the snap. Oh, nice quick down to uh, McGinney. McGinney. Takes it right up the gut. Lumber, Kyle Lumber, and uh, Duggan stop him for a very short game. The third well, I'll the tell you, the, um, just inside the uh, Gil line Guilford defensive uh, line is doing a, doing a good job down there. McGinney, the fullback with the ball carrier. Third and almost six. The ball is about the 19. We've seen the Tiger offensive line has become a pretty good machine. We got third down. Let's see what happens now. About six to go. Ball fits just about at the 20-yard line. Marillo is the quarterback. Marillo rolling, rolling this on. way. Now he's going to throw. Ah, right. His man, complete pass at the 10. Good Joe. That's my man, Robichaud, Joe right? Robichaud. First down for eight-yard line. Big Joe, do it all, Robichaud. That'll bring up first and goal at the nine. Neil Mamely just went in. They got a first and goal. Let's see, first and goal. Here we go from about the nine and a half. Oh, right, the ball's down. Well, Marillo, Marillo, uh, does hard. not handle the snap cleanly. Yeah, I mean, he dropped it, yeah, yeah he, and, and picked it up, tried to go to the right, nothing there. He did make a couple yards, we got, uh, maybe one. Mark Shadlin, uh, Pozinski, and uh, A.J. Lurie. Well, he made a yard out of a fumble snap. All right. Second and goal. Still got Taylor wide. Second and goal now at about the eight. Taylor and Connie, it looks like. And Marillo rolling left. Oh, he's got Taylor. That, oh, too far. A little overthrown. Looking Oops. for Roberti. Here is for Roberti. Yeah, Taylor had come clean. I thought it was going to go to Taylor, but um, all right. I thought Marillo was going to have some room to run. Yeah, I thought he had some too out there, as a matter of fact, but you could tell he wasn't kind of thinking that way, really. And again, I saw Roberti coming out, but I thought he was really going out to Taylor. Taylor had broken loose, heading for the um, far pylon. We got Connie going to the left. Over to the right are Fodor and Robichaud. 
And they might move this a little bit to the left because um, who knows? No, motion to the oh, left, low, low snap. snap. And there's his man in the end zone. Did he catch it? No, good. Oh. <laughs> Robichaud cannot hang on. <laughs> And it was right down. on the numbers. He was just starting to fall backwards on the turf out there, and too bad. Joe's Joe's got good hands on him, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we're inside of a minute in this first quarter, and Joey Robichaud is going to try a 25-yard field goal here. A little bit of an angle on this, of course, because you're down in tight. <laughs> All right, we got some sort of a offside, yeah, offside. A little encroachment happening out there by the Guilford Indians. I I would think the hand might turn it down. Well, they're going to do it. I guess get a little closer, but that makes the angle a little tougher for Joe. Well, they still going to uh, kick. I guess so. About a 22 yarder now. Morello will be the holder. Gerard the snapper. Oh, jeez. Not handled. Robichaud picks it up. He might get in. No. He does not score. Just short of about less than a yard. The snap actually didn't look too bad to me, but it was not handled cleanly. Robichaud picked it up and almost and, uh, got to the end zone. The Indians will take over on down. Boy, oh boy, that is Guilford close. takes over, however. Still no score. And we're down to 39 seconds left in this first quarter. Well, that's one that um, really the offense sputtered a bit, not able to make it happen. It was more on uh, hand than there was on the defense doing the job other than that last tackle. Well, hand did everything but score on that drive. Yeah, everything. Quarterback looking to throw over the far side. Number. Completes the pass down to about the 11. Well, the 10 yard line. He hesitated on that Connie. pass. Nine yard game. Pick up of uh, eight yards will be second down and two. The clock is running. We're down to 10 seconds in the quarter. Uh, I think that ball was tipped, wasn't it? Yeah, that was tipped. So that will well, oh, the flag come on. after the after the play. We have a flag on a play. Clear over on that far sideline. It was way, way play. over. I don't know. Um, the quarter ran out with that play. Let's see what we get called here. Personal foul on hand. Oh, personal foul on oh, hand. Personal foul. That was sort of a goofy. That will give Guilford a first down and get him out of the hole, and they'll yep. switch into the field here, that's, it looks like. That's, that's a goofy penalty. Look at that, that happen. That I would like to uh, present at this time. Uh, High School and Not a real State clean State game State so State far State from Hand's point of view, Kent. Throughout this contest, cheer for your team. Acknowledge good play by any player and refrain from any action that could jeopardize the first with a first down. Okay. Adam is the center. Ready to go with the second quarter. Well, Ann just let the Guilford Indians get out of a hole right then. A personal foul against uh, Hand. Throw across the middle, complete pass. And tackled it about the 31, 32. Picked up the ball at the 32-yard line. And... Mikey Davis doing a job on that. But Hands letting them get a little offensive um, momentum starting. What a six yard game. Complete pass across the middle. 
The Skilford teams won five games, Frank. They're um, they're a pretty dangerous team. If Han doesn't play their A game tonight, absolutely. They can get beat by yeah, these guys. you're you're 100% right. You can't expect There's that to happen. Option to the left. Out, Finally pitched, out. and he's near a first down. J.J. Leary brings it up across the 35-yard line. It's going to be a first down or close to it. Now the spot was right at the chain, so we're just shy of it. It looks like. Made the stop. The third down and. I think I guess they didn't give him a first down there, did they? Not quite. That was about as close as again. Inches away, went out of bounds right there by the stick, so it was easy to measure. Boy, nice stop. Boy, that one didn't gain much. That Boy, that was a nice stop. Should have been a little bit of a loss. Good line search by hand. That looked like he didn't quite get that surge forward at all. He lost the half a yard. No, I, I think Hans' surge was pretty darn good. I think he got a good spot, as a matter of fact. Well, they're just across that 35-yard stripe. We're gonna, we're gonna measure, measure it again. Yeah. Look at that. Nope. Well, a football about length a foot, short. About a foot short, it looks like. That'll bring a fourth down, Frank. Uh, hey. What do you think here? Do you, do well, you that'd be very chancy. Very much out of the norm for a football to at this stage uh, of a game to uh, go for it, but they might do it. They've been. I don't see a punt formation. I here. don't either. I mean, they could try to do one of the things where you try to pull the other team off sides, you know. They're going to go for it. Well, it's again, they could try. Play here. They could try to they pull him off about sides. A foot. They're either going to try to pick it up or get hand to jump off sides. Yep, they did it. The they did it. Too much time? No, no, I think, I think he... I think he uh, did a change of cadence or something and called hand. It was one of the hand players moved. Oh, they got a motion. All right. Well, the hand player didn't go across the line, didn't go forward, even though he started to move. All right. That'll make it a punt. Now they would probably be in punt formation. So they were trying to do the thing to make hand come offside, and they tripped up themselves. So here they go. Fourth and five. Punt formation, Mike Davis back to return. <coughs> Davis is standing back uh, about to 40. Oh, oh, no snap, back to the punter on a bounce. Oh my Steve goodness. No fair catch there, Mike Davis. Ah. There's the flag. Mike we Davis brings it back seven. to about the 47, There's but uh, we've got a flag on that return. Yeah, 90 times out of 100, that goes against the receiving team. So we'll see. Hands getting a lot of penalties tonight. Uh, holding or uh, illegal block. Yeah, one or the other. Yeah. What's that signal? Holding? Holding, yeah. You know, well away from the action of the um, play, too. Holding penalty. Well, again there, Mike Davis caught that ball right <laughs> with guys all around him. <laughs> Honest to Pete, how he decided to take that on the run. I don't know. Oh, Crash Davis there, Ken. First down and ten. And a break out. First down for hand now at about the... Uh, 20, 29. It's a delay, handoff to the far side. That's Dylan Taylor, and Taylor breaks loose. Still going. 
All right. Finally, he's brought down across midfield. A good hard, tough run. Brings the ball across the 50 to the... Dylan Taylor refused to be tackled on that run. What a wonderful job. And so much of that he got on his own, Ken. Just by bobbing and waving and twisting and turning. Now he's taking stitches all over the place. And we got a first down at 10. The ball sits at the 49 yard line. Dylan Taylor takes it clear to the 49. Need to get that old momentum rolling here. Murillo hands it off to his fullback, McGinney. Gains about four. Yeah, monster McGinney right there, boy. That's the monster match. A long six. Big number 75, Connor Hart back in the game. Rollo keeps right up in the middle and a big run. Coming this way. Breaks a tackle, breaks another one. Still going down at the 20. Nice job. Finally pushed out of bounds about the 20. He got a bunch of good, good blocks, and look who was right down there with him. Um, Guy Tuchero was right there with him. Ha <laughs> ha way, GTO. Who was the blocker there? Tuchero. And he forced out of bounds. Right at the 20 yard line. We got Persinus. Big GTO. Schweitzer. Tuchero. Who else in that line? No. Weissmuller. Weissmuller. You got, you got Schweitzer, the rock. Morello keeps across the 20 to the 18. I hope they don't wear that play out. Need to have a little more prideful Prezanos in there. He's a big hombre to take on. I'd, I'd stay behind him a lot. We've got eight and a half minutes left before the half and no score yet. Hand came close. We got a second down and eight yards to go. To came within a yard, as a matter of fact. <laughs> 18 yard line. Came close, had a drop pass in the end zone and a, a botched field goal try. Hands loading up the far side of the field. Oh, man. Morello rolls that way, oh, going long. He's got him. There's his man, complete pass. Touchdown hand. Is that Robichaud? Looks like, looks like Big Joe Robichaud. I guess they decided to give Big Joe an extra chance on that. Well, that one made up for the other one that he didn't hang <laughs> on to. That's my man, Big Joe Robichaud. First score of the game at 7.55 left in the first half, and now Robichaud will try the kick. Robichaud, yeah. And that, oh my that snap is not handled. And Robichaud is trying to throw it. Incomplete <laughs> pass. You know, these the, the, the centers are having a hard time with those those hikes, and it might be something to do with the turf. Six to nothing. Wow. That was a um, well of a nice play, but boy, I'll tell you, that's um, having a little trouble making the whole thing click right now. Well, poor Joey Robichaud, he's <laughs> been back to try a field goal and also an extra point, and he hasn't had a chance to kick either one. He hasn't had a chance on either one, you're right, Ken. He's a do-it-all Robichaud. Well, he did catch a touchdown pass. Yeah, that's all right. Well, you know. Twenty-eight. Mr. Robichaud, twenty-eight. And he's set to kick off back to Guilford. Guilford did a pretty good job of putting a center return wedge. Yeah. On the last kick off. That's a low hard kick. Whoa! It's uh, <laughs> bouncing in the air and another Guilford man catches it. 
Travis Brayton with the ball. It'll be up at about the 32. Line. Connie had him pretty well wrapped up. Oh, did old Curly. Makes the stop. Well, it took an, a long time to get on the board, but we finally did it. But you want to see that offense get going. But again, I'm concerned about the way the um, the hiking is going on that. It just, um, it's not coming out cleanly for some reason. And we know the G-Man is done good at it. Well, it is kind of a wet, damp ball out there tonight. <laughs> They're going to run to the left. Across the 35 to about the 36, about three yards maybe. Three yard gain. We haven't mentioned Mr. Layton over there, Lightning Layton in the defensive line yet. Now he's going to get on the far side. He's going to get striking pretty soon. And oh. like they fake a reverse, but the cornerback keeps the ball, fighting hard. Stop near the line of scrimmage. Mike Davis there, P.M. Bino there. Yeah. Also, Neil Mamley. Mamley made that game? hit, and it'll be third down well, and uh, six. Third and almost six. Expect a pass here. Geez, it looked like he was still taking signals from the sidelines. We're back looking left. No good. A little bit low. Incomplete, Incomplete pass. Bring him fourth down. Now he hurried that quickly, but there was some pressure starting to come through by the Tigers' line. Coverage there for hand over by Brendan McGinney and Brendan Healy. Now, I'll tell you, old powerful P.M. Bino looks kind of kind of rugged down there with that big cast on his left arm. He had sort of a hyperextended muscle or something on that. It was out the last game against Sheehan. Punt formation, Mike Davis to return again. Oh, they got through. And a high floating high kick. Over. Yeah, and there's a fair catch call. Fair catch. At about the 34. Yep, nice job. Good job. Now, that had some pretty good hang time, as they say, on that one. That got well up there. Now, let's see if we can get that offense rolling. Hand with the ball back with 6.23 left in the first half. And they're leading Guilford 6 to nothing. We got a first down and 10. Ball at the 39. You're at the center. Uh, the quarterback. Starts at 34. And uh, we got a referee blowing a whistle there. Time out on uh, Guilford. Yeah, time out, Guilford. Guilford. We'll take a break here with 6.23 on the clock. There we go. And they break out of the huddle. First down 10, the ball at the 39-yard line. Ball to 34. Nick Morello all the way at quarterback so far. Let's run this way. Breaks a tackle. <laughs> oh, my. And uh, that's McGinney. McGinney is still going down the sideline. Oh. And he takes on a tackler there <laughs> at about the 20. Monster man doing the monster mash out there. That's McGinney, boy. I couldn't tell who was tackling who there by the time McGinney hit the defensive man. You know, I think old monster man was waiting for him to come over just so he could hit him. That uh, number two, 150 pound guy against McGinney. That's not a very good matchup, but he did a good job getting him down, but McGinney wanted that hit. I think he was and running out of time. out before they run this play from the 28. Uh, man. Half of this second quarter. Hand is down to the 28 <coughs> with a first down. Morello hands it off Neither to Taylor. Taylor, <laughs> Taylor steps <laughs> over a man or two. Looks like he's stepping through a landmine over there. My goodness. 
Devlin and Duggan. A little bit of cross stitching going on by the tailor. About a five yard gain. Yeah, where'd that come from too, wasn't it? I mean, he was hit and hit and kept picking him up and laying him down. We got a second down and five. Morello. Whoa. Rolling right. Rolling Looking to throw. Wide, wide open. Wide open down there. Who is that? <laughs> Where's that mask Callahan, man? I think, wasn't it? Is it Callahan, it looks like. No, I think it's 83. 80, 83 Jack Callahan. 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 Yeah, Callahan. Jack Callahan, 83. And he was wide open. The only problem was the Oh, man. Hoping he didn't drop it because he was so oh, wide open. Oh, indeed. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing? Uh, old Jackie's got good good hands out there, though. But I, I bet Marillo couldn't uh, believe it either. Marillo did a good job of buying time by rolling to the right. That's and right. Callahan just got away from all the defenders. And Hand is going to go for two, it looks like. Because they did not get the first conversion. Shotgun formation, rolling yeah, this right way. Now. Morello's looking to throw. He's got it, Robichaud. Uh, there's his man. Yep. Uh, give it to him, yes. Robichaud. Big Joe Robichaud does Joe it all Robichaud again. Catches it in the corner of the end zone. 14 to nothing. Look at this thing. We want to uh, make a quick announcement that uh, there is no re-entry rule. If you uh, leave uh, the field at halftime, you will not be able to get back in unless you pay another uh, admittance fee. So We're about ready to kick off back to please. Guilford. Now we have 516 left in the first half. And Hand has put up a couple of scores here in this uh, second Let quarter. It's a low, it's hard kick. kick. Fielded drop, picked up picked at about the 22. Really. And a lot of white shirts and there covered about the 30. The yard line where the Indians will take over first and 10. Gilford's ready to go here with a no huddle, no huddle offense. Oh uh, yeah, they're going to try to start some tricky stuff. They want to try to get some momentum going. Piambino, Layton, Mamley, all in there on defense. Quarterback looking to throw, looking down the middle, incomplete behind the, rece the receiver. Conte had the coverage. Remember, Connie has good hands, so he's going to be able to pick one if he gets near him, and if he wants it. Oh, Curly wants it. He's got to know the ball's in his direction. It seems like they are. It seems like they're having trouble figuring him out. Second down. Quarterback looking to throw. Looking on the center. And intercepted on a deflection. That's picked up ah. by Frey. That's not, that's not Frey, that's Davis. Davis, yeah. Mike Davis. <laughs> it hit the hands of the uh, receiver. A little bit of high throw. Bounce in the air, and Mike Davis picked it up. Yeah, it was high and hard. So, uh, again, slippery conditions a little bit. And it had to be a perfect throw. But nice job of being in the right place at the right time by Crash. Plenty of time here for Hand. Almost five minutes left in the uh, first half. And great field position to 27. Morello straight back looking to throw. Uh, now he's going to try to outrun somebody. 
There's a man, complete path. Don't go backwards. And Taylor makes a catch, takes it forward, down about to 15. <laughs> I'm starting to think for Taylor. I sure don't want to do that because he's got all the instincts it takes. Yeah, he, he came back for that ball and almost uh, came back. <laughs> Into beyond, trouble, yeah. beyond the, where the sticks were for a first down. Yeah. They mark it at the 14. First down hand. Got Foder and uh, Land Grieger on the left side. M motion this way. Well, nice um, pitch. And that's and Taylor. Out Taylor breaks one tackle. Hit hard, though. Jackson makes the make of contact. About to 15. By uh, Patron and DeMeo. Boy, a lot of activity in that and loss of about a yard. Guilford did a good job oh, stringing that out. A lot of running sideways there. Second down and 11 on that play. Second and 11. <clears throat> Right on the 15 yard stripe. This and puts Taylor, Robichaud, and Davis to the right. Connie to the left. McGinney back to block. And Rollo is going to keep, <laughs> breaks the tackle. He's going to make it. He's heading for the end zone. Nick Morello takes it in for the third score for him. About a 16 yard run on that by Nick at night. 15-yard run. They had the defense spread all over the field, and Murillo just uh, took advantage of that. Yeah, but he had some good blocking right up front. Gerard did a great job right off his center position. That's right where Nick followed him up. Now well, Robichaud's going to give it another whirl here at an extra point. Well, he's caught him. He's, you know, I mean, might as well try his foot out. Good snap, good hold. That looks That's over to the no right. Good. No good. Oh my no good. goodness. <laughs> Pushed it a little bit to the right. 20 to nothing. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. Hand scored three times in this second quarter. Three dimes in three minutes. How much was it, Mike? <laughs> Four minutes and 30, well, you know, let's get it straight here. My goodness, you know, what good is a statistician that leads you astray? That's, that's, uh, they must call that WPI um, accounting methods. Oh, jeez. Using that Greenwich Mean Time clock or something. Atomic clock. To Guilford and Robichaud has hit the last couple low and very hard. Yeah, the, the, the short men have been yeah, able to do another it one. Oh, wow, there's a. And it's fielded on the fly, however, yeah. at about the 20. Right the, oh, wow! Breaks. And oh. he's got some room to go. If he can, if he can get run down. Finally, he's brought oh, down, clear down goodness. to the 20. To the 20 yard line of uh, hand, where to be first down and 10. Oh, that was Emin O'Connor got him down. Thanks for being out there, Emin, baby. Wow, that was a pretty good run, though, by Tuchero. Very good return by Guilford, clear down to the 20. That's okay. certainly their best uh, field position of the night by far. Now let's see if the defense, this is where they like to come up and try to push them back. Let's see those guys there. I want to see that powerful Piambino get through. I want to see lightning hit. Strike them right, right hard. Let's go, guys. Ball right at the 20. They run to the left. Now back to this side. Nice takedown. Oh, he gains almost five yards. Nice takedown. So that's right. Robichaud that makes a tackle. Robichaud, yeah, he was staying at home, did a good job. But Robichaud. I'll tell you, boy, that um, Turchio really is a good running back. There's no question about that, young man. Man, and he is 5'7", 155, but very hard to take down. Gained almost five yards on that run. Yeah, he did. Quarterback rolling left. 
Now he's going to turn the corner and hit hard at about the 10, but uh, that's close to a first down. He's going to give him first and goal. First down Guilford just inside the 10, so it's going to be first and goal. Plenty of time for Guilford, two and a half minutes. <clears throat> Quarterback keep going left. He's got a little room to run down there in the five. I didn't see, was that uh, Robichaux getting him down again? Ball's put right on the five. Second and goal at the five. I, gee whiz, I, uh, that was, I believe that was Joe making that tackle too. I was surprised. Oh, there he goes back over that side on the strong side. You got to give a little help over there. You got linebacker. Uh, yeah, okay, good move. And quarterback going to keep Number again. Right up the middle, crosses inside the In, five. Inside the five to about the yeah. two or three. Two or three yard line. Yeah, they they've got some pressure moving. Third down and about. Uh, three yards to go. Need to get some penetration here, Tigers. Third and a little over two. And line, tight end lining up over and in the, the far side. And the just going under a minute left in the first half. Uh, clock is stopped now. Whistle, yeah, timeout, timeout, Guilford. And the clock is running all the way down to 49 seconds. But that shouldn't affect Guilford here. They've got two cracks at it from a couple yards out with 49 seconds left. Okay, Frank, we're ready to go here. Yeah. Well, I think they'll just power it in or I, I, something deceptive. Well, no, they've got they've yeah, got a lot of um, running capable. They've got two downs to try to do it, and they have a lot of flexibility. That Turchero, as long as Lungberg with a um, keeper, yeah, he's got it. Quarterback Lundberg. keeps in. He's in the end zone. Gilbert scores zone. with 44 seconds left. Yeah, they moved everything to the. They put all the emotion over to their left. Hand bit with it and left everything wide open and then he went in basically untouched. Play like that normally you should be able to get the two yards you're after. But hand really had nobody staying at home on their left. Extra point try by Guilford. And the kick. It's good. Up and good. Makes the score a hand at 20, Gilford 7. 20 to 7, and we have 44 seconds left in the half. Taylor and Davis, uh, back deep. And Bill will be kicking off. And we'll get the ball back. Dylan Taylor and Mike Davis are the deep men to return. And here's the kick. A little hard kick. Feel it on a bounce at about the 15. Oh. Up the middle, Mike Davis. Davis is clear across midfield. David picked that up at about the 15 and took it all the way up to about the 48, was it? Of Guilford. Nice job, young man. Davis with the fine run brings it. It almost looked like he was going to break that, too, didn't it? 47 yard line. They mark it down at the 47. 
37 seconds left. They got a first and 10. They break out of the huddle. Gerard comes out to center over the ball. They got a good enough field position here to take a shot at something. Oh, they do. Yes, sir. <laughs> they got Let's Taylor Lang Gregor in the wing. Morello. Morello looking, looking for the long. Deep for Lang Gregor. Oh. Lang Gregor cannot quite hang on. Incomplete. Down near the 20. Just enough distraction there to keep him from being able to pull it in, but boy, that was a pass. And Langriga was there. Only three or four seconds went off the clock, though. <laughs> that would have been fun to see that thing go complete, I'll tell you. Second and ten at the 47. Taylor's white down. man on this side. And Robichaud, well, uh, motion man. Oh, indeed. Looking long on the far side. He's got a man oh. out there. Just a little overthrown. Wow. Who was that that outran the defenders there? Yeah, it was either Callahan or Fodor. Callahan, I believe. Uh, no. It looks like a seven, isn't it? Okay, Curly, we expect right, we another one. Third and 10. Clock shows 24 seconds. They'll probably go long again. They've got trips left. Three receivers over here. Oh, good protection. Now he unloads. Oh, a little bit too far again. A little too far looking for Callahan on that, that far side. That was Callahan. Line. Yeah, I think they'll try to run out the clock, but I'm not sure. 17 seconds left in the uh, first half. For us to follow the ball from up here, maybe a tad better for them, but there's quite a glare coming out of those lights, Kent. <laughs> Punt formation. Kevin Martin. Well, Kevin Martin. Good snap. Kate to the very high. Everybody get away and it's trying to bounce backwards down, down at about the 25. Eight seconds. Seconds left. I would assume Guilford would probably just kill this clock, don't you think? Well, you don't know. I mean, they, they, they have been be a careful big... careful that they don't try something tricky along well, here. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, see, they're a, they're a big play team. I mean, all year long you, you read about them and hear about them, and they, they have a tendency to go for big plays, and that's what they may do here, you know? Spread formation. This that, is not a run formation. No, they... And throw left and ladder. Oh, hook and ladder type. And this guy's still moving over there. Yeah. Finally down. Basically a hook and ladder. That was Crisco that made the tackle there. After one half of play, Hand is leading Guilford 20 to 7. Hand's band is here tonight. Did show zeros. But the referees say we need one more second yeah, on that. Yeah, they're going to say that where they got a first down out of it too is what they're saying. No, that is the same place. But Timeout, Guilford. They're saying that he probably went out of bounds or something or was down just before the clock went out. No, you know the clock did run. I was watching the clock ran an extra second after the game. Yeah. So there will be one more play, and they're going to come out in this spread formation again. And has now seen that. Uh, <laughs> well, we haven't seen that particular situation develop. Pass and a lateral. That I can remember in 18 years, Kent. <laughs> and they're loading up this side of the field. Yep. And they're going to run up the middle. Oh, that man's still running. There, he's up the up in it. And that will end the first pass. That was a sure tackle there by, by uh, who was that, Robichaud, I believe. <laughs> anyway, that runs out to half, and we'll now have the hand.
Uh, courtesy of our chief statistician here, Mike Sexton, uh, hand ran 20 offensive uh, running plays with Taylor taking uh, 23 yards. Marullo 55 yards, McGinney 40 yards, Davis 26, and uh, Robichaud 3 according to the overall stats here for 161 total yards or an 8 yard average uh, per carry, which is pretty darn good. Now on the uh, receiving side of things, Hand had 10, uh, 10 pass plays with 5 completions. We're ready to go here. And we'll get going with that in our game starts. It's kicked off near the sidelines, out of bounds. Be out of bounds about the 36, 37 yard line, I think. Okay. And uh, anyway, further on the um, offense, with uh, receive, uh, with pass receptions, we had Robichaud with one for 22, Davis for 28, and we had um, Robichaud, um, Robichaud for 40. 47 yards. Okay, there we go. So we had five for ten from uh, from Marullo. Nick at night doing a good job on that. 50 percent. Of course, he forced three back at the end of the uh, end of the half as time was running out. So that was part of it. Anyway, pretty good overall for a hand on offense. Uh, not what we might have gotten, but 256 anyway. Slow starting, but going well at the afterwards. And there's Taylor a spin goes by Taylor. Gets out of a tackle. Got a good game going. First down and more. That looks like about 17 yards, something like that. Good starting run. Again, he, he uh, does the spin move out of the grasp of one defender and did a good job. The kickoff went out of bounds. Hand took it at the 35, so that was the first play from scrimmage. Well, we got a first down at 10. First down at the 48 now. Yeah. And the fog is getting thicker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A bit of a delay to Taylor, and he didn't get much that time. No, there wasn't much there. That was pretty well stacked up. And Duggan makes a hit. Right at the line of scrimmage. That's good. Second down. That's going to hurt that eight yards per carry average. That one would, you. <laughs> Although you put that one together with the first run, and uh, it's about average of eight. <laughs> well, I suppose they've had a few fairly long ones that uh, help that average. Second and ten. Want to get that rhythm going. Merlo. Merlo rolling right. Uh, he dodges one man, trying to get away, and he cannot. Two-yard loss. 
No. Matt Morello rolled to the right, tried to cut it back, and the defense was there. Third and 12. And about 11 to go. Now we got Langrieger here in the slot. Morello straight back, oh, looking to throw. Okay. Across the middle. Langrieger. Oh. Uh, incomplete pass aimed at Langrieger. He did just the right thing. He got out there past the first down mark. The ball was just not able to be reeled in. Mike Langrieger came out of the slot left and cut it across the field. Could not hold on. Bring up fourth down, punt formation. We're early in this third quarter. Hand is leading 20 to seven. And that's a Whoa. hard kick. And that one's not fielded and Hand picks it up. <laughs> well, that's a dead ball, I think. <laughs> Was that Connie? I'm not sure who got No, no. That Davis. Hey, Davis, yeah, who Mike, else? We Mike Davis down there covering that punt. He, he gets the ball, and he sees a chance to go for pay dirt, and he wants to do it no matter what. Good practice, though, you know? <laughs> Good practice. That should be hands ball, right? Yes. Yep. yep. That was a fumble, fumble fair, uh, fair catch. and uh, That punt was muffed, and uh, hand picked it up. It's at the 17. Shotgun formation again, a spread. Let's get that Whoa. rhythm. Looking. looking left, looking long. Looking in the end zone, yes. got it. That's Taylor. Taylor. Dylan Taylor, right behind his defensive man. Taylor tallies another one. <laughs> nice job. Good pass and catch over the arms of the defender. And Marillo had just the right touch on that, don't you think? Nick Marillo laid it right into Taylor, and I thought Taylor did a good job there of uh, acting like he was not in the play until the ball got there, and then he caught it. He really did, and he good concentration. Robichaud puts it up and good. Well, that was quick. That was a nice job. 27 to seven is the current score. Well, a break on a uh, fumble recovery is turned into a quick touchdown. <laughs> Tonight? I'm not sure. Maybe Mike can help us. Uh, yeah, we had three of them, yeah. Three of the four. Okay. Robichaud to kick off back to Guilford. Three of the four touchdowns hand has scored have been by the pass from Morello tonight. He spread it around. Robichaud kicking off. Callahan, Robichaud, and now Taylor. Robichaud uh, hits a fairly short one this time over on the far sideline, picked up on the bounce. The ball. About the 15, run up the middle, good return. Jeez. Still going. Across the 45 to about the 40. Boy, these guys, these guys are quick. Hand better not let up on these guys. They, uh, they're a pretty good team. They are a good team, and they're very fast. And they're good athletes. They spot the ball at about the 47. And they're going to try, try to go to the air a lot more, I think. High snap, not really handled real, real well. And now a pitch. On a sweep to this side and nice. well defensed. A lot of action on that and He's maybe right about the line of scrimmage. Connie and Robichaud finish it off with Healy right behind him. Robichaud 
We got a second down. Off up the middle oh, and breaks through. And a man's heading for the end zone. Oh, he's caught from behind. He's tackled from behind by Robichaud. Good run. Boy. Quick he, opener. He is one slippery character going through there, Kent. But Robichaud caught him from behind, which is a good thing. First down, Guilford. A plunge right over left guard. Uh, the left side. McGinney Close is the right there. Post of jerseys in on that play. And Jeez, they're, they're I'm trying to figure out who the rest of the linemen are here, Frank. I can't see them from here. Second and nine. Quarterback looking to throw. You're looking long. And there's a hand man down there. Touchback. Intercepted by a hand. That's a touchback. In the end zone. Who got that? That's uh, Frey. Frey fries him. Stevie, Stevie Frey. Captain, Captain Frey. Steve Frey. Uh, intercepted. They'll bring him back out to the 20. Steve Frey had his eye on that ball better than the receiver did. Again, that was a long ways in the air, and it was right to the very deep part of the end zone, up in the fog. Frey had his eye on it all the way, Kent. You are right. But Hand has some good backs that are able to intercept those plays. It's a touchback to the 20. So we have 7.57 left, third quarter. A run over the right side. Comes right up the middle. Score is 27 to 7. Hand is leading Guilford at this point. All right, you're going to see the Tigers try to get the first downs on the ground if they can. Kyle Lumberg. Which means they're going to try to wear line. down the uh, defensive line with just pounding it to them. The That'll be up to Rock Schweitzer, G Man Gerard, GTO Turchio. Run this way. And it's handed off to uh, pullback. Yeah, there you go. And McGinney. We got uh, AJ Lilly, uh, Duggan, and uh, Dylan. Doing the monster mash and right there. Pullback with the ball carrier. Bring up third and three. We got a third down. Ball to 27. John Berlin goes wide right. And they're going to run up the middle. Right about at the line of scrimmage. Taylor met right at the line of scrimmage and down. Gains a yard. Brings up fourth down, however. Inside the 30, so Hand will have to punt. Well, you would have liked to have seen him make a first down, Kent, just to keep the ball going on the ground and keep that pressure on the defensive line. Now, they're going to try to put a cr crunch on here. Kevin Martin back to punt. Whoa, a not high very good. short kick. And it hits right it near down. the 50, down at about the 49. 49, good field position for That's the Indians. 49 yard line of hand. Got underneath the punt a little bit too much. Got it too far up in the air and didn't uh, get a lot of distance on it. Guilford has put good pressure on um, Martin's punts tonight, hasn't he? Yes, they have, yep. He had to get them off a little faster than they really would like to. We got a first down to 10. Ball kick at the 49-yard line of uh, the hand-eye target. The bone to center. Huh. Notice all the um, skilled players have armbands with the play on it, and they check the play every time. They run to the left. Now he's going to cut back this way. 
and got, got some yards. It looked like Lightning was going to get him for a loss back there, but he just, just shriveled right out of his arms, and he made five yards. Couldn't get away from Conte, however. Did not get away from uh, Curley. Second and five. Quarterback still got it, going left. And fighting hard, still running. Finally bound inside the 40 yard line. And that was Davis that made the first hit. Yeah, I got it really slowed him down so he could get some help over there. But again, Lundberg's very, very good. Very good option quarterback. Robichaud and uh, Crisco finished the, finished the play, but uh, Davis slowed it up. Gives him a new set of downs, however. First sure down. Does. <laughs> Fog lowering down. Same run thing. up the middle, cut to the, this go. side, and got some oh, room to oh, run. Oh, my goodness. Clear, clear down near the 20 before Davis can finally end the play. Connie was absolutely held out there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I mean, his shirt was almost coming off his back. <laughs> it isn't a hold until the referee sees it's it. It's not a hold until the red right. If you can get away with it, I guess you do it. We have five minutes left in this third quarter, and Guilford's moving the ball. Pitch to the left, sweep left. Cut back down near the 15. 15 or 16 yard line. About a five yard gain. And Jefferson was one of the men that was mentioned in the uh, paper, and he also was in uh, earlier in the season. Somebody you haven't heard a lot about, but he looked pretty good on that play, plus one earlier in the, uh, well, right at the end of the second half, uh, first half, excuse me, second period. Five yard gain. Quarterback still got it. Uh, nice he's down. Tackle. That's Good tackle good there by Crisco. At the Crisco kit. Crisco stops that play uh, yard loss. They're doing a hurry up type of offense here, but it's not hurrying up right now. You're calling in the play, and everybody will check their, um, their little cheat sheet on the wrist. Third and six. I would expect a pass here. Well, uh, going to throw to the left, cut back, and horse collared outside the 10 at about the nice. 11 or 12. That's going to be fourth. Didn't quite make the first down on that. Fourth and one for yeah. Guilford. Lundberg is pretty good with that quick yeah, pass like down. that. Balls at the uh, 12 yard line. And about a yard to go. Fourth down play from the 12. And the Guilford offensive players check their armbands. See what the play is, I guess. Quarterback running left. Ah. And uh, he looks got like he's got down. the first down. He gets a, he's awful close. I think he's got it. That was a tough run, but he got just enough for a first down. He was hit several times, just not able to bring him down. Finally, Frey ends the play. However, it's a first down for Guilford. We got a first down and about a goal. I'd like to see a good defensive stop. Ball spotted about the 11, it looks like, from here. Oh, Aww. bad snap. <laughs> The motion man behind actually picked it up. Dylan picks up and uh, advances it a few yards. My Brings goodness. it back for a little bit of a loss, but that could have been a lot more disastrous than that. They couldn't it have. Uh, <laughs> Went through Woo! the quarterback's hands, but the man in motion behind him picked it off on the fly. Pretty quick thinking on his part. <laughs> Second and 11. At about the 12. Mm 
Quarterback looking left. Lofting it up. Going high and okay. then knocked down over there by uh, Steve Frey. We have a Volkswagen Jetta license number 218-TTS. You're blocking um, another vehicle. You're advised to move your car, please. Steve Frey knocked that one down in the end zone. We have 145 left in this third quarter. Hand is clinging to a 27-7 lead. But Guilford's trying to add another one here. Quarterback still Quarterback got it. Kicks. Coming to this side. Uh -oh, he's got an angle. And he's uh, heading for the end zone. Touchdown, Guilford. Good play by the quarterback. A keeper. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, those are plays that hand normally is going to stop. But somehow these, these young men from Guilford, um, pretty good slithery little athletes out there. And I thought was going to be able to take them, take them down and make them go fourth, fourth down. Conversion try coming. Kaczynski holding, deal with the kick. Put down, kicked up, good. And it's good. All right, it's a ball game. 14. 27, and a 14, Gilbert. And we're still with a minute and a half left in this third quarter, Frank. This game isn't over. It is not <laughs> over. I'll tell you, that's a fairly quick strike on their part, and they're a big play team, so. The hand is not playing their A game. It's, it's a B game, but they got to do better than this. They also would like to make a statement going into next week. The guys can do it. They just need to... Oh, there's something not quite right there. On the return team for hand, there's number 74, Ken Moulton, in that front line. Number 64 there is Andrew Piambino. And Back deep Taylor. to return are Taylor and Davis. Kicked over to the sideline again. That'll be an offsides, I think. Condi called for a fair catch on that, which he can do. Yeah. And uh, the probably must be a... Um, Got to be some, you know, an offsides or something on the kick. They're obviously trying to kick it to keep it away from uh, Davis and Taylor. I mean, the, both of their last two kicks have been off to the side this direction by purpose. Now they're going to bring it over to the near hash mark. Uh, they might even try onside kicks. No, they want that ball. There's the whistle, and the kick. It's kicked over to the far sideline, fielded at the 40, yeah, on the catch. fly. That Fair yeah, catch Roberti. there by uh, Roberti. We have a uh, silver Volvo. Eight well, we got a good good field position. Eight now, and I've said it a couple of times now, you need to get some Your offensive rhythm going and get just and move that car get a little bit going, but not, not as enough as they need to do most of the time. You get one of those real long patented hand uh, ground games, you know, Kent? Yep. Got first hand starts at the 41. The 41 yard line of uh, hand. And we have just over a minute and a half left in this third quarter. Moreau yeah, tries to cut and slipped. Lombard covers him. We have, we have almost not the seen the power eye ball. at all that Hand is uh, usually used in situations like they this. Second and 12 now. Conti and Taylor split this side. Robichaud and Davis on the far side. Morello straight back. Morello looking, throwing. There's his man, complete pass. Taylor. That's Dylan Taylor makes the catch. Got a first down. Drives him out of bounds. Taylor. Yeah, a nice first down on that by Dylan Taylor. Stitches time, saves at nine. 
About 18, as a matter of fact. And we're inside of a minute in the third quarter. And we got a first down at 10. Foder and Callahan and then Grieger in. Of Gilford. Pitch. Goes to the right. Yeah. Play and out and stop it for a loss. That should be the last play of the quarter. We're down to 15 seconds and running. Second down, 13. Ball at the 46 yard line. Down to five seconds. So that will be the last play of the third quarter. You bet. And we end three quarters of play in this, the 10th game of the season against Guilford. Hand leading 27 to 14 after and three quarters. Both teams have exchanged the post game handshake. So we um, hope you'll uh, pay heed to that announcement and uh, we appreciate your cooperation. Okay, we're about ready to go for quarter number four. Last quarter of the uh, last game of the regular season. Regular season, you bet. Here we go. Second down now in about 12. There's the eye. Murillo rolling left. Throws the left, and that looks like Foder. First Kevin down. Foder makes the catch. He got just enough for a first down, it looks like. Nice job. I like it when they start, you know, mixing up the, the receivers out there. They're going to give him a first down? Well, they haven't yet. They haven't signaled it yet. They're going to measure it. Okay. We're not looking straight down that line, but he's very close. And it's a first down. Ball is at the 33 yard line. Just enough to move the sticks. Well, I just saw number 11 go in, DJ Kirsch, who on this roster is number 52 instead of 11, so <laughs> it's obviously taken from a we got a first down. Oh, listing. 33 yard line. And there again is the power eye. I feel comfortable with the power eye right now, Ken. Oh, somebody looked like jumped early no, there, but no flag. Oh, there's, there's a big guy. Taylor, run. he's going to go. Going for the end zone by yes. Taylor. And Taylor oh, takes it in. He got about a 33 yard on that, and he broke through. And there's yeah, no, no question from about the uh, 25 yard line on that he was going all the way with it, Ken. Dylan Taylor. Makes a nice cut and outruns the defense. Rubber charge with the attempt. Marillo will hold. <laughs> well, they put the score up on the wrong side of the board. <laughs> That's what you call a homie, do you? And Off the post. Kick is no, no good. I think it was partially blocked. Looked like somebody so got a hand on it. Uh, 33, hand 14, Gilford. 33, 14 is the correct score. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the kicking game certainly hasn't been the strong suit for hand tonight, but hopefully we won't need it to be the strong suit. Well, that's what good teams do. They get scored on, they come back and yep. get it back. Yeah, get it right going again, you bet. Well, we got a minute here, Frank. Uh, you talk about the next game Hand's going to play. Hand is definitely in the state tournament. You're right. And uh, as of, uh, let's say, airtime, it looked look like North Haven would be the um, most likely candidate to take us on at the Surf Club on Tuesday night at uh, 630. Eight nine four B A L. Uh, you are blocking the Jetta. Right now, you Hand is the number one team in the division, the uh, double M division. So that's the way it would play down. Overshaw hits, hits it hard, and it's fielded, dropped, picked up. With the ball. Inside the 15, and he's going to be snowed under at about the 20. Oh, good job. There's Kmart 
on the tackle. One of them was somebody on the other side, but mainly Kmart. So Good Hand job. is assured of one more game. One more and game. And they will be the host they next will. Tuesday. The first four teams right now are um, in the division. Of course, it's a four-team play down. It's Hand, New Canaan, Middle, Middletown, and uh, North Haven. I understand North Haven's losing, but they would have a lot to go against them to, to lose that fourth slot. 22 yard line. Quarterback rolling. Quarterback Looking to throw, being Ma pursued by Mamaly, who wow. uh, slows him up but can't make the tackle. Missed tackle. Finally out of bounds Whoa. on the far side. He's pretty slippery. Mind you, missed tackles out there. What, do they have grease on those uniforms or something? Picks up nine yards on the play. They are kind of shiny. Nine-yard gain. Boy, it looked like he was going to be taken for a loss. Second down. There's a mismatch over here right now. You got three receivers over here and only got two men covering them. Yeah, a drop back for um, <laughs> Steve Frey motions for Steve Davis to come over. Morello is going is a throw to short man and tackle by Frey. Nice tackle. Nice cover by Frey. First down though. And they got Morello in there playing defense. Out of, out of bounds and the time stops, of course, as they also move the chains. Ball to thirty eight. Marullo comes out. Uh, Healy in. Healy's Comets in, far side. Quarterback leading the throw. Kmart is after pick him. Pick a ball, pick a ball. Ho, 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 ho. The ball hits the receiver on the <laughs> helmet. <laughs> and that's the, the stud, uh, Tuchero. <laughs> right off the helmet. Oh, Tuchero will... Um, Feel that hit on his sleep. Looking back for that ball. He may have oh, lost man. it in these lights. These lights well, have a lot of glare. Be, but, you know, he could have caught that, too. It was just up yeah. over his head. Hit him right in the coconut. I thought Hand was going to get it. I, I really did. I thought Frey was going to pick it. Second and ten. Low snap. And incomplete pass a little high on the far side. Boy, they do send that Turchio, though, down deep. Try to get him Frank, free. Frank, you, you can always pick up those holding calls. <laughs> Kid almost tackled Rich Layton on that. Yeah, yeah, I, I was watching. But I wasn't going to say it because it's not doing any good. You know? <laughs> no call. Yeah, Layton, Layton really looked like he was going to be tackled down for a, a takedown in wrestling. Quarterback now they got throw some charge and on. Kmart. Going through, and that's a complete pass, complete. near a first wow. down. That was a good, Davis had the coverage. That was a whale of a catch. A good, low, hard throw. Uh, Going to be a yard short. Got fourth down a yard to go, the ball's at the 47 yard line of Gilford. 47 yard line and fourth and one. Notice the way. No question, Gilford's going for it. Do you notice how Kmart came in on a delayed blitz that time? Quarterback still got it, going to the right. He got it. Got first the first down. down. Cross the 50. And uh, Matt Lumber picks it up uh, to the midfield strike, and it's going up for the first down. We've got a full 10 minutes left in this game, however. Hand leading 33 to 14. First down and 10, right at the midfield strike. We're back straight back. They're looking to screen in the middle. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, Rich is lucky on that one. Who's that? Rich Layton is lucky on that one because I thought he almost hit him late. Uh, Rich Layton was putting pressure on him. He put br plenty of pressure. It's a little hard to put brakes on a guy yeah, that his size. I'll tell you, though, what he'll be looking for him coming in again on him. That Second was and ten. Pretty hard hit he got.
And Layton's again on him. Looking to throw across the middle. Complete pass. Tackled at about the 46 by Crisco. Davis made a shot. Third down and, uh, or was that Davis that made the tackle? Chris right, and Davis, Davis were both there. Tackle, yeah. Third and a long six. We got a third down. And seven to go. <laughs> Three down linemen for the Tigers. Run up the middle. Oh, man, Burton still moving. Hard, hey. They didn't get him down until he got clear down to the 37. Right, another first down. I'll first tell down. you, that kid is. Yeah. And it's good for the first down. Amazing kid. 155 pounds on the weights and measures chart. Got a first down at 10. The ball sits at the uh, 37. He plays a lot bigger than that. First down at the 37. Guilford looking across the middle. There's the flag. Comes in late. They say Conti hooked him as he tried to knock the ball down with his left hand, but he probably had the right hand on his back. That's what it looked like. We have a flag on play. A first down. And the first down, they place the ball down at the uh, 22 yard line. That will give Guilford a first down at the 22. And, all right. We need that defense to click. 836, Sean Scott. Looking to float it out on this side. Turn the corner, cut back. Finally got him down at about the uh, what, the 14. Ball is placed at the at the 14. Magini made a stop. Second and two, quarterback looking to throw, looking across the middle, and man makes a catch down there. Touchdown. They gave him a touchdown on it. Boy. I was trying to figure out where he was. Yeah. Touchdown, Guilford. So with uh, 7.53 left in the game, Guilford inches closer. Thirty-three to twenty with the conversion try coming. And the ball is not handled cleanly by the quarterback, and he's up running all over the place, still going. And they're going to get him out of bounds. That conversion try is no good. Mamley finally runs him down. Why? There have been quite a few miss connects between the long snapper or snappers and the uh, receptors on both sides of the game tonight. 33 to 20. But I would say that Gilsford's a pretty good 5-3 and 1 team, wouldn't you? Yeah, they are. I got some real skilled players there. And Matt Lumman has broken a record eight consecutive games of throwing a touchdown pass. We've been getting some strange kickoffs from Guilford here. Frank, they've been short and out of bounds. Well, I think we're going to see them. I mean, at some point, they're going to try to have an onside kick, but um, I don't know that they'll do that yet, but 
I mean, their defense have been doing a pretty good number on hand overall, so they may be still feeling pretty good about their chances to get the ball back a couple times. Going to aim this one to the far side. Yeah. They're trying to stay away from Taylor and... Uh, no, they aren't kicking it to the far side. They're kicking it to this side, yeah. but out of bounds. <laughs> the referee just flew, threw his flag and hit Mike Davis right in the back. <laughs> and, and I take over take on the 35. Uh, and we'll take over on the 35. And we got 7.53 showing yet to play. And this game isn't quite over yet here. It's a 13-point game. Now, the old Tigers, again, we want to start to see some time chewed up here. But positive gaining all the time. But Merlo is going to keep going up the middle. Dives forward to a 39. About four. About four yards? Yep. Just about. Pick up close to four yards. It'll be a second and six. Ball at the 44. Callahan, Fodor, and Lan Grieger all go in. They're all receivers. And Chase. quarterback Morello keeps. Goes over the left side. Not much there. Oh, that that that, that play the right there doesn't do a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all that does is run a half a minute of time off the clock. That's about all. But uh, when you lose or just barely break even, it doesn't do a lot. Third and six. Merlo across the middle. That's Taylor. Gonna stay. Taylor's got a first down there he goes. to the 50. All right. Nice job. Again, good basic technique on trying to get the first down. Came out one yard over, got the reception, and also got a couple more on a run after catch on that. So good job. Very base. The 49. Very good skill player and also smart players. Our man, Dylan Taylor. The ball sits at the 49 yard line of Guilford. Merlo looking to throw. He's looking fairly long here. Incomplete. Looking for Taylor. Covered by Curcio and AJ Lurie. We got a second down. Well, Frey went in for McGinney. Second and ten. Pass to the left oh, side. Nice Complete play. pass. Good one. Heading down the middle and finally dragged down from behind. Wow. What a nice play that was. That's Fodor, I guess, isn't it? Huh? Fodor. 87. Was it Fodor? Okay. Yeah, Fodor is at 87. Yeah. I Kevin Fodor makes the catch, keeps their go. drive going, and keeps Excellent the clock job. rolling. Nice, nice run after catch, too, with that puppy. McGinney carrying the ball. Takes it to the 20. That's ah, good punishing run right there. Nice job. Got, uh, 
Fodor and Berlin both come back in. Nine to go. Murillo rolling left, throwing across the middle. Is that intercepted? Yeah, intercepted, intercepted, intercepted Gilbert. A diving catch over there. That's Lundberg. That's the quarterback, isn't it? Yes, it is. Boy. That was a rare interception right then. Playing both ways. But uh, there were three men around uh, Roberti that time, and it was going to Roberti. Now, uh, let's see if we get a good defensive stop now. They're going to take a chance to, to really open this thing up, I would say. Got an equipment uh, thing down there. play while we fix the helmet here. First down and 10. Uh, ball is at PM Bino, Leighton, and Roberti are the three down linemen. Quarterback it keeps it. Drop, dropped at about the 18. Well, I he, he got something from nothing again. Got a second and eight. Got a really hand in two yards on that play. And the clock is running and down to four and a half minutes left in this game. Complete oh. pass and, and oh, he's gonna get helmet on helmet. Kmart. He's gonna get helmet on helmet on that, but um and another flag. I'm not, I'm not sure what the first one was. He hit him high with a helmet? Well, I think that's what it is, but he just he just braced him up. I don't know. I mean, he braced him up, and you could hear helmet on helmet, but it wasn't a flagrant thing. That's a yeah, helmet on helmet. That's a personal foul against Han. Logan made the initial hit. Whatever it is, hand is going to get penalized. That's a double penalty. A double penalty? Personal foul. They walk off one penalty, now they're going to walk off a second one. They're going to get about half of the football field here on this play. Clear down to the 48. And that will make it a first down and 10 of the ball at the 48 yard line. Boy, uh, the hand high. I think it was unsportsman the second time. Quarterback throwing to the right and complete pass over the there down to the 20, 35. Inside the 35 yard line. Complete pass, first down at the 35. Cisco made the stop. First and Quarterback being pressured and knocked down that time. And somebody from hand comes up limping. Yeah, it looks like a cramp. Conti, maybe? Well, it looks like Conti from here. It is Conti. Incomplete. Uh, come up with a cramp, but he's going to walk it off. Now he's going to have to sit down. He'll have to come out for a play. Yep. That's what it'll be. 3.33 showing on the clock. Mike Cuddy came up limping there with a cramp.
Emmett O'Connor goes in to take his place. Guilford with the ball at the 34, second and 10. Again, second down and 10. And quarterback lofts it up high. Oh my goodness gracious. And it's caught, touchdown Gilbert. Holy mackerel. Beautiful catch. Boy, now you're talking about a guy with some good hands. That kid, that's his second touchdown. Big play for Gilford. And we got 326 on the clock and hand now is only gonna be leading by one score. Wow. Actually, and less than one score. Conversion try coming. Good snap. No good. And no good. Off to the right. And it's no good. Make the score uh, hand high 33. Clifford 26. 33 wow. to 26. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, huh? Now, you know, you got to give that double 15-yard um, penalty really did a job to give them both, uh, you know, a lot better field position and time time to get it down there. But that was a whale of a last pass and catch out there. <laughs> it was a great one. Now, you better, they, they definitely will be going for an onside kick. Now, they can feel the momentum in their favor at the moment, so you can... They got people like Lang Grieger and Murillo right up in the front line. Mike Davis, Joey Robichaud. Connie's back in. Connie McGinney, all expecting an onside kick. The only man back deep is Dylan Taylor. So we may have a major collision here at about the 50. A seven-point lead by a hand. Will will kick off. No, he kicks it away, a long one. And into the end zone. Taylor chases it down. Hand will take over to 20. Well, you know, hand hasn't been able to really sustain a real long offensive uh, push against this defense, and that's, I guess, what Guilford is planning on. DJ Kirsch is in, which gives us almost like a double tight end capability. And with a seven point lead. We got a first down at 10. The ball sits at the 20 yard line of hand. Uh, the quarterback sets the team. Nick Morello is going to keep it. On a Cooper. A dive to this line, side. Right at the line of scrimmage. Brings it right back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And the time, the time keeps running, but Hand needs at least a first down, at least one more first down. They need a couple of first downs here, Frank, to use this clock. That's right. Absolutely. Otherwise, they got to give it back to these guys. Taylor with the ball, and he's hit. And that play is stopped at the line of scrimmage also. Devlin Krasinski makes the hit. Yeah, timeout. And DeMayo in on the hit. 25 showing. Now we got third down, 10. Third down play for hand. I heard the referee come over to the side here and 
They put about 10 seconds back on that clock, so. Yeah, that's about and right, too. Murillo decks the team. Murillo looking to throw. Across the middle, got a man come McGinney. And Jeez. McGinney's got just enough for a first down. Look at that. Wow. Unless they move it back. <laughs> Stop the clock while they move the chains. First down, hand. Now that, that was a good play. We weren't expecting to have McGinney get the ball, and it was a nice job. First down to the 30. And we need the fullback hits off his right side, picks up two free yards. It'll be a second down. All right. That's McGinney again. Yep. Sure handed. Time Another out. timeout by Guilford. Stops yep. the clock with yep. 158 showing. So they've used two timeouts here. We'll take a break. Second down about seven. We had a second down about seven ago. Nick Murillo over center. Gives a delay to the left side and a big run there for another first down. That's Taylor, takes it across the 50. Another first down though, that's what we like. And Travis Dillon and Carl Jepson make the hit. Well, we're inside of two minutes left in this ball game. And Guilford has already used two timeouts to try to stop the clock on this drive by Madison and so far it hasn't really worked. Well, we're back to the power eye and, and that's one of our mainstays, Kent, through the years. And, and it only works right, really when you get a chance to use it and use it. And give them a rhythm. And Han calls a timeout before the play is run. Han. Until the uh, post-game uh, handshakes are made. After Han we'll used the timeout the here, will be first down for Han at the 49. And that's Taylor. Taylor oh dodges that, and finally oh uh, my, he is oh. down inside the 20. Wow. Another first down That's using clock and burning a lot of yardage. He's, he's as slippery as they come, too. What a good job. Wow. Falls at the 19-yard line. Another yep. first down at the 19. And we're down to a minute left in this game. They can kill it by taking a knee if they want to. Guilford can stop it one more McGinney, time. The fullback running hard. McGinney <laughs> just doesn't quit. Down to the 15. They, they were trying hard to get and that we're ball. We're inside of a minute left. Before we uh, run off another play, Guilford is going to call their last timeout. Stop the clock. Well, well, they can about take two kneel downs and end this, can't they, Frank? Yes, they can. After the last timeout was taken by Guilford. So we will be playing on Tuesday night, one way or the other. To Taylor make a goes back way deep to play his safety here, and Nick Morello is just going to go back and kneel down. Let the clock run. Before we end this game, I'll mention one more time, like we did last week, that uh, the Madison Rotary Club has a three chefs dinner on December 3rd, a Monday at the wharf, three seating times. Call any Rotarian and you can get your tickets. But it's for good, worthwhile causes. The clock is running. This will be the last play of the game. We're down to 15 seconds and running. Frank Hand is uh, going to end up 10 and 0, but this was an uneasy win, wasn't it? Uh, that's right. This was a real tough one. Got to hand it to Guilford for putting on a 